This video was brought to you by Cheez-Its. Mmm, delicious. Now this is a Samsung Chromebook 3, so this is in 2015. Now in 2018, the, this thing is running on the latest OS, and it is 2018, so... So basically you have, the, the, the latest version as of right now of Chrome OS has this. Now you go up here to the search bar, and you can search pretty much whatever you're, you want to go for. Like uh, Chrome itself. I'm gonna switch Chrome. As you can see, there's it starts, It brings up Chrome applications. Like you can go up here and hit Chrome itself, and it'll automatically launch Chrome. Oh, another thing about Chrome OS is it's not like Windows or Mac where you can, you know, where you can use it to. I don't know. Um, download applications off of the internet. Chrome OS doesn't do that. Instead. You get you have two options. Op option number one, you have the Android Store or the Google Play Store. Now, I personally don't like the, the, the Google Play Store that much. I find it pretty finicky, and not a lot of the apps are you know my type. So I was on the I was on here for a long time, a few weeks ago, looking for looking for um a video editing app. As you see, it's um, it's on my searches. But I couldn't find anything better than PowerDirector, so I, I don't. I have not yet enabled the full version of PowerDirector, but this is a very good app for Android-based computers. But since Chromebooks can run this pretty well, I recommend you use this if you're an editor. So another thing here, let me just show you real fast. Another thing you can do with the, with with this editor is you can you can move your instead of doing this instead of clicking the, the video file and pulling it this way like most editors do is you can take your two fingers just like you can you know move pages up and down like that you can do this or this I find that pretty neat and if you want to make a cut or something it's gonna since I have the free version it's gonna be a dick to me click that hit this incision tool and then make, you know, I make sorry cut. I'd say this is a good this is a good computer to, to edit with because it's it basically is faster. It, it's has a it's it's really it's, it's a really good computer despite its price, and it's a very good alternative. The Chroma what the OS itself I'd say could I give it like five out of ten I guess. And if you want to sign out, hit, go over here and hit sign out. You're probably wondering how do you change this wallpaper. Or they have this, this uh, yeah, this wallpaper. Like, how do you do that? Look, I know most of you Windows or Mac users would, would uh, you know, would hit would left click. The thing is, unlike a Windows laptop, this right here is not does not have two um, does not have a left click and right click. So basically, this on you know, the the right on the left. Is this does the same exact thing as this does because it's all just one click bar. So what you do, what I found out is you hit Alt, click, and then it does pretty much the exact same thing your your Windows computer would do if you if you were to you know use um if you were to right click. From here you could it gives you the option to select wallpaper, which is a pretty good thing. And I'm actually gonna set my old wallpaper back if I can find it. Here it is. And it, that pretty much works with any app, including Chrome. So you, so you just say you wanted to highlight flowers, and they wanted to copy it, you would alt click, and then copy, and then you go over here to. Um, docs and pretty much these are all links. These aren't their own apps down here. These are all links to different web pages. So that's a good little nice little fact. Now you add. I'm gonna open a blank document just for the f fun of this video. So you would alt click again, 
and then you hit go here and paste and voila that's how you do it if any of you guys have any further questions on how to use your chrome os because i know it's a very it's it's very for those who use it for the first time it's it's pretty much brand new but it is a, a pretty good alternative for those who don't have the money for a pc or mac this is a good thing to go to again if you have any comments just let me know just write me in the, in the uh comments and i'll get to it and that's pretty much it for this basic tutorial so don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and vlogs and whatever else i do and also don't forget to peace out